helper and Tig. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Kate and welcome to my weight loss journey. You guys, you guys suggested I have more fish. So I'm going to try something with fish. With salmon to be precise. I've done some shopping and I'm going to show you guys this recipe. I'll put it up here, all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. And let's get to it. So, making a bechamali sauce, which is, I guess, like a roux. It's like a roux, roux, like a kangaroo. So the recipe called for fontina cheese. I couldn't find it, but I looked online. Apparently, Gouda is a good replacement for fontina cheese. Take a look at me like a psychopath. I'm going to re be replacing all the gluteny things with gluten-free things instead. If I could have got coconut flour, I'd have used that, because I prefer coconut flour or almond flour, but I couldn't get to the health shop to get it, so... And they didn't sell it at the supermarket, so I've just gone for what I've gone for. The first thing is to make this roux. Never done that before, so let's crack on with it. Okay, so we've got to melt the butter on a medium heat until it's foaming, and then you've got to add the flour and stir constantly for one to two minutes. That's my flour and butter mixture. Okay, so when that's nearly the colour of caramel, it's time to add the milk. Now for this next bit, I'm not going to be able to film because you've got to stir it really vigorously. I think I'm going to need two people for this. One of you is stirring really vigorously, the other one is going to add the milk gradually. I won't film that bit, but I'll show you the sauce once it's done. How would you rate that on a scale of one to tricky? Uh, tricky. <laughs> <laughs> the milk, the full fat milk is incorporated and I think um, you need the milk to be pretty cold and that to be hot so the two so there's a contrast and you gradually add the milk while really really stirring hard with a whisk it's quite tricky because it starts to clump and you've got to go Aah. so once that's been simmering for five to ten minutes you put half a teaspoon of sweet paprika in there and a pinch of nutmeg now i've added my salt my pepper my paprika my nutmeg and it's like nice and smooth and thick so we're gonna leave it to cool take it off the heat and uh, begin cooking the pasta. Next we've got to do the pasta until it's al dente. Once that's done, you're going to put half of the sauce into the bowl. You want the peas. Chives ahoy. Gently folding it over. So I've got to add the cheese to that mix in the bowl. But I've just added it now and stirred it around so it's fine. So now you grease a baking dish and we're going to put the pasta into that baking dish and then top it off with the rest of the sauce and sprinkle with cheese. Yeah. yeah. I've preheated the grill to a medium heat and I've put the rest of the sauce and the rest of the cheese on top. And it's ready to go in the grill for five minutes and then it's got to rest for five minutes and then you can serve it and eat it. Now the best part of cooking is clearing up the absolute mess that we've made. Everything's out and it's a complete mess. Phone's ringing. Ah! Oh, by the way, weight loss. Let's get to it. This is a very professional channel. Oh, it's my aunt. Hang on. I better get that. So in all that craziness, so I'm trying to cook as well, the dog has just peed on the floor. Man, I was just all skipping to answer the phone. And I've just trodden it. <laughs> Time to check out my weight. So let's just do the weigh-in. So that is two pounds down. So that's really good about the weight loss, isn't it? Eh? It is finally crisped. So this is enough for four people. It's going to be loads left over, but... Someone will grab it, I'm sure. So you've got to let that rest for five minutes and then you can munch it. I'm curious what it's going to taste like, to be honest. You know how recipes are sometimes, they never quite go to plan. Mmm, oh yeah, that's really nice. Salmon works really well as well. I approve. What do you think, Tiggles? It is absolutely delicious. Yeah? You yep. like it? It's got my approval. Thanks guys so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different, but this channel is kind of a mixed bag of everything, so... Hope you enjoy. If you've got any suggestions of what you'd like to see, let me know. So I'll catch you guys on Tuesday if you're subscribed to my travel channel. But if you're not, I'll see you for the next weigh-in on Friday. Take care, guys. Bye.